Hello everyone, welcome you all in video series of basic mechanical engineering subject. In this video, we, uh, we will learn uh, pressure gauge, function, location, construction and working. Uh, this is the one type of bowler mounting, we will cover one by one. So let's start with the constructions. So pressure gauge is also known as Borden pressure gauge. It consists of elastic metallic tube made from the high quality phosphorus branch. It is of elliptical cross section and bend in the form of the circular arc. So in this figure we can uh, see that uh, this is the uh, Borden tube, uh, this is the made of uh, elastic metallic tube and uh, made of high quality phosphorus branch. So uh, this tube one end of the tube is clo closed by plug and another end is connected to the steam space of the boiler. So in this figure if you can see that this is the one end uh, it is attached with the plug and uh, this is the this is the siphon tube, this is uh, three way cock and this is the steam space. So in this figure we can see that uh, this uh, tube uh, one end is closed by plug and another end is connected with the steam space. The pressure gauge is connected to the steam space of the boiler through a U-tube siphon. Siphon is fitted with water which is prevent the whole steam from the entering the burden tube and keep the gauge comparatively cool. So in this figure we can uh, see that uh, this is the uh, U-tube siphon tube. The close end of the tube is attached by a link to a toothed uh, quadrant which is turned mesh with the small pinion fitted on the central spindle. So in this figure uh, we can see that uh, this is the uh, toothed pinion, this is the quadrant and this is the uh, hair spring. So uh, this Borden tube uh, one end is attached uh, with pinion and quadrant and another is for the uh, steam space. A pointer is attached to the spindle on a dial gauge and the dial gauge is usually constructed to indicate up to double the maximum working pressure. So in this figure uh, we can see that uh, this is the dial and this is the, uh, this is the pointer. So uh, pointer uh, will show uh, pressure on this dial gauge. Now this is the uh, construction of the uh, pressure gauge. Uh, now we will understand the working of the uh, this pressure gauge. The steam pressure force the water from the siphon tube into elliptical tube and this cause the tube to become the circular in the cross section and straighten the tube and the causing the tube end to move outward. So in this figure you can see that uh, this is the uh, steam pressure force due to uh, water. So uh, whenever uh, in steam pace the pressure will in increase the, uh, the water the water from the siphon tube into elliptical tube and this cause the tube become the circular in the cross section and straight and crossing tube at the 1m to move the outward. This outward movement is magnified and transmitted by a link to that quadrant and the pinion causing the pointer to move and show the pressure on the uh, graduate dial. This will show the pressure on the dial gauge. The movement of the free end of the elliptical tube is proportional to the difference between the external and the internal pressure on the tube. The outside pressure is atmospheric and the pressure gauge measures the strain pressure minus atmospheric pressure that is called gauge pressure. So uh, this is the working and construction of the pressure gauge. So in next slide uh, we will cover uh, one important thing that is the function of this gauge. So it is measure and indicate the steam pressure in the boiler. So uh, this is the one type of boiler mounting and it is used for uh, measure or indicate the steam pressure in the boiler. Location. So it is mounted in the front and 
top of the boiler shell so that it is easily visible to the operator. So if you find my video very helpful, you can like, comment, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. So no, one more thing that is the important question that we can say that this is the important question for the university exam. So explain very briefly the function of the following mounting that is the pressure gauge. Another that is the explain with Nitz gauge, modern pressure gauge. With the Nitz gauge, explain the construction and working of the pressure gauge. These are the important questions for the university exams. Now, if you find video very helpful, like, comment, share, subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.